Hello, I'm Stone Samurai TV of the United Gamers of the Universe. Today we have a new YouTube video on Tomb Raider about the journey so far and the farewell to the franchise for now. So come follow me on this story and if you haven't yet, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you haven't already, comment below about your thoughts on this video. So let's get into it. The Tomb Raider games are a classic as we all know this ranging from the early days of Sega and PlayStation to Angelina Jolie to what we got now. In 2009, Square Enix bought the rights for Tomb Raider from Eidos Interactive. Square Enix came out with a Tomb Raider game with amazing graphics and a game story with a new Tomb Raider movie on the way in 2018. It was right for the picking. For a company to roll the dice on a title very familiar to fans seemed to have been worth it in the end. So if I have my math right, the film had a budget of 90 to 106 million dollars and came out with 274.7 million dollars with over 100 million dollars in profit even though it didn't score well in rotten tomatoes with only a 55 percent audience score you gotta admit money does look good and with the first video game budget of being 100 million dollars in the reboot it grossed 14 God, million but thanks to xbox having it on games with gold they bought it for 100 million giving Square Enix some breathing room. But until Square Enix could really make their dough, they had to come out with, in my opinion, the best in the game series, hence Rise of the Tomb Raider. With a budget of $108.1 million, Rise of the Tomb Raider was able to flip it for an estimated $170 million, making the game in the profit margin of $62 million with all of it combined. Tomb Raider racked up $344 million by 2018 making Square Enix looking pretty good. With the second installment of Tomb Raider, Square Enix was able to make back some of that lost profit from their first game. But with actor salaries such as Alicia Vikander getting paid $40 million from the movie, that does potentially put the profits to $304 million, if you want to look at it like that. But as we like to say, money is money, especially for Alicia. But to really get a good number of the whole series, you have to consider the last installment. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which left Tomb Raider fans mixed to ranging from complaints to the game mechanics, even though they added new things like rappling down and running on walls, being able to ascertain newer weapons, but to the sacrifice of less combat, forced to wear certain outfits and sub buggy climbing, well, at least to our experience, it did make it hard to be happy with the third installment. With a budget of $139 million, Shadow of the Tomb Raider was very behind estimating the beginning price of the game to be eh, $60, would only sell about 4.12 million units, would put on par to about eh, $4.4 million, but to an up-to-date price, the game has dropped to $28, being able to sell a total of 8.9 million units sold, bringing their profits right below the margin in about 224 million in all. Steam has reported to make 30 million to contribute, but as fans know, budget and profit always trickles down when you also have to pay developers and graphics designers also. But where there's darkness, there is a light. In 2019 with the third game and including the movie, it does put the movie made by Square Enix about 500 million total, but by the time May of 2022, Embracer Group bought Square Enix assets for $300 million. That includes Tomb Raider and Crystal Dynamics and possibly Asper Studios with their assets, and then Embracer Group flipped it for a profit to sell it to Amazon for $600 million. At the moment, Crystal Dynamics doesn't have anything to say in regards of the purchase, but Square Enix can start over. Embracer Group made a Wall Street move, and Amazon has an amazing new game franchise they can invest in and play around with. But in conclusion, Square Enix had a good run with Lara Croft. We got to get re-familiar with our favorite adventure archaeologist. Like the old days, we don't know what will come from our protagonist, but hopefully she will be back with the success of Amazon's Fallout. We think she'll be in good hands if she goes back to the screen. And as well as new games, well, we're going to have to wait and find out. So for now, au revoir, Tomb Raider. Hey there, hope you liked the video. If you want to watch more content, click the boxes on the screen and come by and stop by the shop and buy some new gear. We just got new sweatpants in. So yeah, we got those now. So come on now and leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.